Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the rain continues here in southern New England. Later in the night, could be a little bit of a wintry mix in spots. Let's get a look at what's happening. Live Doppler radar. You can see much of the area is covered in green. Now, I did a little analysis uh, off camera, and there's a possibility of a little bit of sleet down here across uh, westerly and into uh, parts of eastern Connecticut. So don't be surprised if you hear a couple of ice pellets pinging on the side of your house over the uh, next hour or so, really anywhere across western Rhode Island. Our threat tracker for tonight, Monday and Tuesday, despite the rain tonight, low chance of severe weather. I don't think it's going to be a major impact at all. Monday and Tuesday looks to be relatively quiet as well. Live look at Newport and we've got uh, just some soupy skies. 39 degrees currently in Smithfield, so relatively mild temperatures. Even if it does snow and sleet, it's likely not going to be sticking to area roadways. You can see the storm system continuing to wrap up here. Center of uh, low pressure right down in here. It's going to be heading on off to the north and east. The atmosphere behind it will be cooling as the storm system begins to pull away. Let's check it out with our hour by hour forecast, especially western parts of Rhode Island. Might see a little bit of sleet and snow during the overnight. Here we we are about a quarter to six in the morning. Could be a little sleet, maybe a little bit of snow mixing in in our extreme northwestern suburbs. Wouldn't surprise me a few snowflakes or sleet pellets in uh, the Providence metro area very early tomorrow morning. Hour by hour forecast 10 o'clock in the morning. Precipitation is gone. We're looking at partly sunny skies for most of the day tomorrow. But notice late in the afternoon and evening, we've got a couple of dots of green and pinks and blues. Could be an isolated rain shower or snow shower or snow squall blowing through late tomorrow afternoon and early tomorrow evening. Even if we do get a little bit of snow, really not expecting much of the accumulation, maybe just a trace in our extreme northwestern suburbs. Some of the higher elevations might get a little trace of snow. For the morning commute, rain and a snow shower. Roadways will likely be wet. Temperatures will be above freezing. I'm not overly concerned about icing, but Michelle's in tomorrow morning. She'll watch that for you closely. 43 in Charlestown tomorrow afternoon. Wickford 43. Uh, 43 in Newport. Rain or a snow shower possible. Most of the afternoon's dry. 44 in Situate, West Warwick, Providence area around 44. Fall River and New Bedford also in the low to mid 40s. Here's that seven day forecast. Now on Tuesday we are looking at sunshine but it can be windy and cold. Wind chills starting out in the teens on Tuesday morning and staying windy and pretty blustery throughout the entire day. Wednesday, we lose the wind. We get a little bit more sunshine. Temperatures around 42. We get milder on Thursday, but we'll be clouding up. Rain develops Thursday night and continues through uh, most of the day on Friday. Maybe heavy at times. Some gusty winds also possible. Looks like it's out of here for Saturday and Sunday, though. But notice the temperature is relatively mild all week, with the exception of Tuesday, so no snow really expected this week. Nothing significant at least. Be sure to download our WPRI Pinpoint Weather app. You can get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are for your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. And still too early to know if we're going to have a white Christmas or not. There's something perhaps next to what Christmas Eve is Monday, right? Yes. Uh, perhaps on Christmas Eve itself there could be a, a chance of snow. Ooh, wouldn't Stay that be tuned. exciting? It would Stay be. Tuned. Our kids would love that. They would. <laughs> All right, what's coming up? Well, the Patriots, disappointing loss today. Yeah. 